Good morning, modern steaders. The other day, Wrangler Star did a video called We've Been Exposed. And I think Wrangler Star's exposed us. He's exposed a lot of topics out there on YouTube. One of the topics I wanted to talk about today that he talked about in his channel is about sponsors on YouTube channels. And it's a touchy subject. This is how I've started looking at sponsorships on our YouTube channel. After watching Wrangler Star's video, I was in contact with one of the companies we work with and we were texting back and forth and he was letting me know that they just hired another employee. And I went, that's awesome. It wasn't, it's not because our channel he hired another employee and even if it was, it's not because of me. I'm sharing with you a company that I like their products from. You guys get a discount, I get a little commission. That's awesome. But the bigger opportunity there is not just that, is we live in a world I think that all of us want to see change in. I know I want to see change in it. So, but in order to see change, we need to have an economy, a place we all need to make money. So everybody needs a job. We all need income coming in, whether we want to live off grid, we want to live in the woods. It takes money to do that. So the way I look at sponsorships, not just for our channel, but for other people's channel is they can promote a company that's in our realm that we can help promote and lift up. If we can take that company and make them bigger, make them grow, they're going to add on, they're going to add more employees, they're going to be able to pay their employees better, and that means people like me and you are going to be able to get jobs in areas that we want to work in, which I think that is awesome. We've worked with companies that we get a little commission from. We've promoted companies we don't. And I think it's neat when we've worked with companies or promoted a product and then we get a phone call or we get an email and they're just blown away and surprised that they've seen an impact in their business from us promoting them or a different YouTube channel promoting them. I think that's just huge. It's a great opportunity and an awesome part of the world we live in today. Is we can take something, promote it, and help grow it. And I think that even neater part about that is, is there's transparency there. So whether it's me, Doug and Stacy, or Wrangler Star, any other YouTube out there, or any other YouTuber out there, there's transparency. If we promote a product and it stinks, you're not gonna take my word for it. You're not gonna take Doug and Stacy word for it. You're not gonna take Justin Rhodes's word or Wrangler Star's word anymore. You're gonna be like, they stink. Like, why would I trust them? So. For us, I'm not going to promote a product that's crappy, or I'm not even going to talk about a product that we're not going to use. The stuff that we talk about here on Lumna Acres and share is stuff that we use for our family. Stuff that excites us. Stuff that I would want to see promoted. Or the other way I look at it is, you guys are our friends. You're the modern steaders. You're we're the black sheep. Like this is our community. So I don't want to. I'm not going to promote something to you that I don't like. I'm going to share stuff with you that I use. The way I look at that is, is if I'm watching Wrangler Star and he's talking about his Yanmar tractor or the, uh, the Rhino implements for his tractor, like he's showing me like this is why I like this product. This is what I don't like about it. Like That's awesome. His Yanmar tractor, he's got the gas filler on the side of his tractor. My Kubota is under the seat. That's a pain in the butt. So we get to see what we like, what he likes, what he doesn't like. We get to see Rhino. I think that's awesome. That's an American made company. If he can promote that company and be able to hire and they can hire on more employees because you like that product, that's awesome. More power to him. And we should be promoting that like, hey, we can help grow these companies. I'm not, they don't go to be US based. When I think of these companies, I don't think, I think local, but that's not the right word. When I'm, when I'm thinking local, I'm thinking of products that we like to use, companies that we want to support that are in our realm. Because I think with YouTube and the internet, local, I mean, it can be anywhere. So it's about promoting products that we want to see. It's about promoting stuff that is in our realm that we want to see grow up. Think about it, the politicians, they can be shady and promote stuff or take money and put it in their pocket from companies that you don't know about. YouTube's different. 
And with social media, it's different. It's a huge transparency there. So I think that's neat. Off road, Doug and Stacy, they work in with uh, Sun Oven, which I think is cool. I don't know anything about Sun Oven, but if I want to learn, hey, how to cook my food in the Sun Oven, I can go to Off Road, Doug and Stacy. They're bringing that product for me to see. Otherwise, I never know about that. We just started working with a food company. It's got awesome non GMO food. I've never heard about that before. It's delivered to my door. That's awesome. I want to be able to eat good. I want to be able to have good quality food at my fingertips. So if I get to find that and share it. Why do I want to hold that back from you? And be like, oh no, this is mine. I don't want you to have this. No, I don't want to share it. If you guys don't like it, that's fine. But I want to say, hey, I got this. It tastes delicious. If you want this and, it, and you want it to taste delicious, here's X. So that's why a lot of us share the stuff on YouTube that we do. Yes, there's money involved, but you know what? Just like you, me, we all need to make a living. Without money, I can't live, you can't live. These YouTube channels wouldn't be out there. So I'm not saying like, hey, this person's getting rich. Or, even if they do get rich, more power to them. That's capitalism. That's how the economy works. If so-and-so is making money, somebody else is gonna make money. It's not, oh, if I get a dollar, you don't get a dollar. No, the more we all grow, the more we can grow together and we can promote this stuff. One thing I think that's missing in modern homesteading, farming, gardening, whatever you want to call it, that's missing in this realm is money. The biggest, people's biggest hurdle, if I talk to people on the channel and say, hey, what's your biggest struggle with homesteading, gardening, farming, with what you want to do is, it's lack of money. So if we can find a way to get money coming more into homesteading, gardening, farming, if we can make our own economy, more people can do this. More people will be able to live their passion. And I think that's awesome. I mean, you might not want a job building a product that's in your area, but it's a start. If you get to first start making something, and then you can, I don't know, I just think it's amazing. We have this technology at our hands that we can just grow and help each other. Instead of saying, hey, you, you stink, you're promoting this product and I don't like it. No, we should be like saying, hey, thanks for bringing this product to me. I didn't know that. So here at Lumna Acres, we work with a couple of different companies. Some of them we get paid to work with, other ones we don't. And we're gonna keep on sharing that stuff with you because I think it's awesome to be able to share these products and say, hey, I like this, this is why I like it. If you don't like it, that's fine. Share with me why you don't like it or what you don't like about it. Maybe we can get the companies to change what we're, they're missing, what we want to see, and tell me what you like. I want to know what you like. Look, when you have a product that you enjoy or something you enjoy, you share it with people. You share it with your friends. That's what I'm doing here, and I believe that's what everybody on their YouTube channels are doing. So thanks for coming along on our crazy journey with us. Now is a great time to subscribe to the channel. While you're down there, turn on notifications, and YouTube will hopefully let you know when we upload a video. If not, just remember we upload a video every day at 6 a.m. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.